Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, it's all about... Let's do this! Here we have the Indiana Jones Adventure Series. This is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. This is the Indiana Jones Temple Escape Set. I know I'm late to the party on the Indiana Jones figures. This is actually the only 6-inch Indiana Jones figure that I own. When Hasbro announced that they were releasing Indiana Jones figures, I was kind of excited. I do like the 3 and 3 quarter inch size. I do collect more of that. I don't typically collect 6 inch figures. But I definitely wanted to make an exception for this set. But it was a Hasbro Post exclusive and I do not like to order online. And plus the price was a little bit more than I was willing to pay at the time. But months pass and Hasbro Pulse had a sale, so I jumped on the opportunity and got it for a pretty decent deal. I know a lot of people are complaining about the face sculpt on the Indiana Jones. They don't think it really looks like Harrison Ford, so I'm really curious. And first impression, I think it looks pretty good. Although I'm not extremely critical when it comes to reviewing figures, so... My opinion might not be the same as yours, but I'm pretty excited about this set. I think it looks really good. The base looks amazing. Look at the sculpt on that. That's going to be pretty fun to set up. Let's check out the detail on this base. And not too bad. You can see like some of the moss on top. And it looks like it has a little play feature there too. You just push that from the bottom. And it raises the little platform up there. So... I like it. It's pretty cool. It's got a little play feature, so that's fun. There you go. There it is again. We'll put the idol on top. Pretty cool. So let me know. What do you think? Did you even know it had that little play feature? Here is Indy's revolver. Here's a look at the whip, and it's kind of plain, and I think this is where the Hasbro failed. They should have made it a bendy wire more possible. Here is the bag of sand. I like this. This is a pretty cool accessory. Comes with another whip that's all rolled up. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about this head sculpt. And I don't know, man. It looks pretty good, especially certain angles. I think it looks really good. I love the 6 o'clock shadow. The jacket looks fantastic. I love all the weathering on it. He does have... Comes with his satchel, which is pretty cool. I like that. He has his pistol holster. So he has single elbow band. His hat's not removable, but it feels like it could come off if he wanted to. But I'm not going to risk that ripping it. He does have pretty decent movement on his arms back there, even though it's single elbow band. Little split and a single knee band. Some ankle movement there. He does have thigh swivel too. So I like the detail on the pants look great. He does have a little... Holder for the whip. But I don't know, man. I think it looks really good. I mean, I'm happy with it. I know a lot of people complain about the head sculpt, but I think it looks pretty good. Especially that angle. It looks really good. But let me know in the comments. What do you think? The top of the hat looks great. The weathering. So I think they did a decent job. So let's see if we can fit the bag of sand in his hand. It is... A little tricky especially it's kind of like a trigger finger hand but it works let's see if he'll pose in front of that and he leans up against it pretty good put the idol there and it's simple but effective look at that looks pretty cool i like it get some action poses here and i love this little feature there look at that so that's pretty fun you can get some pretty good stop motion if you had the patience to do it but yeah, I like it. So I know people had a little problem with snapping that little holder for the whip. But I had no problem. It just snapped right in. As far as putting the gun in the holster, it's a little tricky. You get to squeeze it in there. But it does, it does fit once you get it in there. And snapping it in, locking it into place, perfect. 
not an issue there at all. They snapped right in perfectly and stayed in. So look at thumbs up for Indy. So my overall opinion on this figure, I like it. The satchel looks great. Um, the detail, the weathering, everything fits in good. I think it's a decent head sculpt. I like the accessories it comes with. So I'm happy with this purchase. The posability is decent. It's not, it's not excellent, but it's definitely enough for this Indiana Jones figure. So with all the posing here, let's play with some green screen. So what do you say? Let's do this. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone.